Hello, welcome back to a video by me. I'm going to show you some outfits I wore to work this week. Yeah, not that much to it, so I will go put on the outfit that I wore on Monday and show you. So this is the outfit I wore on Monday. I just had it in my head that I had to wear this skirt. I actually got this skirt from Glassons, I think two years ago or a year ago, um, for a Halloween costume. We dressed up as Team Rocket and I've literally never worn this skirt since because it's white and it's not really a colour I wear. But I just decided I want to wear that skirt that I've literally only ever worn once. So this skirt is from Glassons. The sweater, um, I just made a little knot with it, with a hair tie. The sweater is from ASOS, and then underneath I just put a red long sleeve as an extra layer, and I thought the red matched with my shoes that have love hearts on them, which are Converse. And I think my shirt's from Cotton On. And I also did my hair in these two little buns with scrunchies. That was primarily because I needed to wash my hair that day. And it makes my hair look cuter when it's not being nice anymore. Um, yeah, so this is what I wore. Plus this jacket from Cotton On. I wore it, you know, when I needed to because it was cold. And earlier in the day. On this Monday, I did go to the pool. And after the pool, I couldn't be bothered putting my tights back on. So half the outfit, I wasn't wearing tights. But then it got really cold. And I like it better with the tights. And I like it because you can, like, see a peak of my tattoos through it and I just think it looks cool. Yeah, that was Monday. I'll also just quickly show you my sock combination. Bees and my love heart converse. So, yeah. And then you can see I like that. Especially because it's a new tattoo so I'm not used to seeing it. I think I would rate this outfit highly. I'd give it a 5 out of 5 has layers which is good and I like wearing a skirt to the pool because it makes it kind of easier to get changed and it kind of feel like weirdly fancy for work but there's nothing wrong with that and now seeing this outfit again I'd give it a 5 out of 5 yeah this is what I wore on Tuesday it was primarily based around it was raining and I wanted to wear this jacket and because I bought it I guess a couple months ago now from Cotton On and the pattern just makes it difficult for me to wear so I based it around that and also the fact that it was raining so I got my red docks on and I did get a compliment from someone about how my jacket matched my docks so that was cool my jacket's from Cotton On my shirt is um, from a 21 Pilots concert we went to in I want to say 20, 2016 or 2017 so that was a long time ago these jeans are from Cotton On, I wear them all the time, and you can't see my top, but I've had them for a long time. Here we go. This outfit's comfortable, gets good gratings for that. Um, it was good for the rain because I had to park in a puddle. What did I do on Tuesday? I did go to a cafe, took a photo of that, and then in the afternoon we went to a theatre, um, but I left my phone in my bag so I couldn't take any cool photos of it. And then I also took a video. I came home for lunch and took a video about that, but then my phone just deleted it, so that's cool. 
It's very different from my skirt outfit, but it's um, still good. I'll, just, mate, I'll give this a five out of five. I'd wear it again. Two for two. So, Wednesday. I wore this cute outfit. You can't see my pants, which is the cutest part. So, these pants. My trusty Converse with hearts on them. This outfit was inspired by... I decided I wanted to wear this shirt combination, I think, and then the pants just kind of worked as well. And so I got these pants from Glassons. I've been told they're a 70s style. I know nothing really about 70s fashion, but apparently they're 70s style. This cardigan, so soft. I got this from Condon a while recently. It's really warm, so that was good. And then when it got too warm, I just took it off. Trying to remember what I did on Wednesday. This shirt was given to me by my friend. Thanks, Deva. And this undershirt is from Condon a couple years ago. And I thought the colours like looked cool together. Someone complimented my pants and someone complimented my tops, so I would call this outfit a win. So on Wednesday, I'm just in the car waiting um, for someone else just catching the bus. So I'm waiting for her on the other side. Um, I'm freezing in this outfit. I need another layer, so I'm thinking about going home to get a jacket. I don't want to try to do that. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Is that I'm too cold. It's like 10 degrees, I think. So I just thought a jacket would ruin the outfit, so I don't wear one. But it was my mistake, especially because I'm outside like literally all day. So called bus with someone and walked some dogs which was fun I seemed to get really sunny you know I didn't have time to get my jacket um so that's good but I just wanted to tell you guys that we've been walking this lady's dogs for like months and she gave us fudge so I have two pieces of fudge which is really nice and I wanted to tell you so I'm gonna eat this fudge now and go to many support watches in 15 months. And then in the afternoon, went to the pool. Yeah, and then caught a bus again with someone. So I took some clips of that. I'll insert them. And this was Wednesday. I'll give this, I'm looking in my mirror over there. I'll give this five out of five as well. I thought I'd change my mind about some of them being like, oh, it's not as cute as I thought it was, but I like the like warm tones and I like how this is like kind of over, it's not oversized because it's fucking tiny, but like it's a hair and your shirt's here. I think it gives like a cool contrast. And you can put like any color top under it and it works since it's black and white. And these pants always make me feel cool and like I tried harder than if I had just put my jeans on. So that was Wednesday. <music> Here we are for what I wore on Thursday. So I have this spreader I bought from the warehouse. It has like a vintage wash to it, which is cool. And the MTV, that's what drew me to it. Um, I got it in like a two weeks XL. I didn't think the extra large was large enough, so I got the two weeks XL because I wanted it to be really oversized. Because um, there's this um, sweater that I gave Jonathan that's really big and I wanted it to have the same feel. So I accomplished that and I put this turtleneck neck top under it it's really light so it's not like strangling you I think I got that from Kmart a while ago this was under this even though I never took this off because it wasn't warm enough but most of the day I just tucked it under but while I while I remember I keep forgetting to tell you guys all of my pants I cinch at the back with a oh, here it is with a shoelace um, from shoes that I don't wear anymore. I do that because pretty much everything is too loose, so I like to suck it in. So I did it to my jeans and those corduroys I was wearing and these pants. Also, these pants, so cute, they're pink. I got them from either Glassons or Cotton On years ago and I've worn them more in the last month than I have the whole time that I've owned them because I was always scared of them. For some reason I was scared of them. I just feel confident wearing them now, so that's good for me. And the first time I wore them, so I gave me, two people gave me compliments. So wear the pants that scare you. 
them. I picked them because I wanted to wear this sweater primarily. I just wanted to be comfy. I was, it was Thursday, I was over it. I wanted to be comfortable. So that's why I wore this because oversized you're always going to be comfortable. And then I thought the pink would go with the, the pink that's kind of in the top. So that's what I did and I liked it. Hello, I'm in a car again and you can't even see my outfit from where you are which is the main point of this whole video but I bought this yesterday and I wanted to taste test it on camera for fun so that's what I'm doing. It's a very pretty colour. It's called Razzleberry Raspberry Flavor Thing. Sounds good. I don't need an energy drink today, I just wanted to try it. <laughs> It's like raspberry fanta. It's good. It's not giving me energy drink vibes. As the point of the video, here's my outfit out on the real world. Okay, pink. And of course, the same colors as before. I also wore my fucking Thursday socks, which I primarily wore because I've been wanting to wear. It's been cold enough, so I've been wanting to wear my socks that said like fucking Monday but the only ones that were clean were fucking Thursday so <laughs> I had to wear them on Thursday and actually Thursday like at the beginning was a really good day but something about like two o'clock I just don't feel good mentally so I don't know I just want to include that as like a disclaimer you know sometimes your brain just does stuff and you're like why is this happening why am I sad right now and that happened on Thursday, but it was Thursday, which is the last day of the week for work for me, so that's good. And we had Indian for dinner, which I realised I got on these pants. So that's rude. Oh, hello. Sitting on the floor is an opportunity for tools to sit on me. Help. I hope I gave you a good enough demonstration for that. I don't know if I did. Cute. I would also give this outfit 5 out of 5. I'd wear it again. I'm really comfy right now. I do have a doctor's appointment that I have to go to. I was going to be like creative and put on a completely different outfit, but... I will. I will. I told myself I would. I'll quickly go find something to wear. For Friday. So quickly throw in something together. It is based on the fact that I want to wear tights after seeing um, my Monday outfit again. The only thing I'm unsure about is I've stolen this shirt from Jonathan. Skirt underneath or no skirt? I can't decide. Also, of course, my heart converse. They go with everything. They go with everything because they're white and they're red. I wear a lot of red apparently and they just go, but I can't decide. I need to leave in like five minutes. If we like it with the skirt, because it kind of adds like an extra inch, or not. I'm wearing bike shorts, so like, not like I'm going to flash everyone. Probably in post, I'll be like, one looks way cuter than the other. See, bike shorts that I've owned since I was literally 12. My mum bought them for me um, for netball. I haven't owned anything else for as long as I've owned these bike shorts. You know what? I'm only going out for one thing and I would never wear this to work without any, like the illusion of not wearing pants. So I'm just gonna YOLO and wear this and I'll let you know how it goes and what I would give it out of five. Hello, I'm, well, I'm back from my appointment. I just had lunch and watched the show and um, this is completely unrelated to an outfit video but I got a package in the mail from some stuff that I ordered. Um, Typo was having a sale and I couldn't resist. 
So I bought some stuff. And I thought I'd show you. Because it's what I'm doing today. You can't even see. So, oh, first item. It's fun when you order so many things that you kind of forget what you ordered. I'm trying to show you, but it's making it difficult. Oh, this is way bigger than I expected. That's cool. This is for a plant. I need to repot lots of my plants, so I'm going to make a video about that one day um, when I get there. I thought this was like half that size, so it's really cool. I don't know if that lighting is really doing it justice. You can't really tell, but it has spots on it. There we go. So that's cute. Imagine a plant popping out of there. I like it. That was on sale. It was originally $29.99, and I think I got it for 9 so and it's really cool. The next thing I see in here is a pet bowl. Originally $30, I think. I can't remember how much it was, and they don't tell you on the receipt. But I thought it would be cute, and the pet bowl we currently have is ugly for water. And it says, thirsty bitch, which I thought was funny. And it's like classic, so I think that will look like good on the floor. They had some other pattern ones, and I was thinking about getting them for food, but I think it's good that I didn't because I think they're a bit too deep for our cats. They kind of need something more shallow. And um, because if they eat too quickly, they puke all over the carpet. The next thing in here, completely random because it is September, but this was on sale and I thought it was cute. It is a beauty guru hedgehog wearing a Santa hat. I thought it was cute. Oh, this was $2. Two dollars for a beanie. How good. It's black and my other one I have is grey and it has this cute embroidery on it which is ideal. We are in spring now. I mean it's still a bit cold um, so it's not really beanie weather but it was two dollars. So the material is kind of it's a lot thinner than my other beanie but it was two dollars cute pretty much just good for when it's cold and when i'm having a bad headache which isn't today so i don't really need to wear it this is carried away phone straps so it's just this small beaded set of beads and it says fuck self doubt but as you can see it censored the fuck i thought it was cute i know these aren't really popular like they used to be but I always kind of wanted one but didn't know where to get it from. I like that it says Fox Out Out because it's very accurate to my life. The hole to put this through is really small. Might be too small. This is originally $12. I didn't pay that. I like maybe it was 8 Cute. And it's kind of like a wrist. <laughs> so you don't lose it. Let's see how I feel about it. Um, long term. Could be cute, like hanging out of your pocket while you I can't even tell if it's focused. And then, I have two more things which I can't actually show you because I got them for a friend um, when their birthday happens because I've decided when I see stuff that I think will be good presents, just buy it then even if their birthday's like six months away because then you have it. And it's not as hard when you this is so much better quality than I thought it would be. That's so good. This is so cool, but I can't show you. She's gonna really like this. But I can't give it to her. Long time. If you're watching this, I'm wondering if it's you. You have to wait and find out. And something else that I can't show you. Which is like anticlimactic, but you watching this. What is it? Who knows? Oh, this is cute. I kind of want one. But it's cute and I think the person I bought this for will like it. Hello. I just scraped the price off. Which isn't accurate anyway because I got it on sale. I'm gonna put it back in the box. So, 
feels like success. Some really cute things. Be whacking myself with that. Thanks for watching this part of the video. If you cared at all, I'll get back to talking about outfits. Assessment of this Friday outfit. Um, I'm not really sure about the bottom half, top half. Cute. I really like this shirt. It's not my strong ones, but I really do like it and I like the look of it with this orange underneath. I'm just not really sure about the... Well, I've taken my shoes off. I've taken my shoes off because I'm in the house and wearing shoes inside makes me uncomfortable. I would give it... A two and a half. I'd say two and a half is very fair because I do really like the top half, which is half of the outfit. I'm just unsure about the bottom, but then maybe if I just owned it, maybe with some boots and my docks, that could look cool. Also, maybe if it was a bit warmer because I'm kind of cold. So that's also bringing it down. But anyway, that was my week of work outfits. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed also the random little clips that I took throughout the week. Thanks for watching. If I end up liking this video, I'll probably make some more because it really keeps me inspired to wear cute outfits instead of just wearing jeans every day, which is like, why would I do that when I have so many cool pants? Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite outfit was. Bye.